name is Andrew Ruby, and my group is going to be talking about the Pokemon Go app that has been uh, has been released just a, a couple weeks ago, and it has been just a, like the big boom in the gamers world. This app consists of it connects your phone with the, uh, it connects with your camera and it connects with your location with your GPS. Like for this, you go around the, wherever you are with your GPS and your phone is going to vibrate when the Pokemon is near you. So when the Pokemon is right in front of you, your camera is going to activate itself and it will appear in front of you like if it's real. The, um, the purpose of the, the designers of this game, like for the, the Koreans, their purpose was to make this game like in 3D, making 3D, but they couldn't do this, so they just like uh, make it appear like in, by the camera. You can watch it by the camera. The app also lets you to take pictures of the Pokemon when you catch it. And what else? Oh, this app. Oh, this app also has um, Pokemon stops where you can travel to some place, they are all scattered, they are all located in the whole world. So you can go there like to meet a battle, or you can have the Pokemon balls, or any type of items that you need to you need in your game. Okay, the country that's been known that this game has been very popular there, it's United States. It also has been uh, released in Japan, Korea, uh, China, all the countries of Asia, so all the users, like, um, they're all spread around the world, but there's a problem in Latin America, the, work, the this game has been released here. So the game so, has been downloaded here in Latin America by legal pages. The game also and has this like type of gym that is located where the person, when a gamer, has a lot of uh, Pokemons that are very powerful. So. The, when someone wants to have a gym, someone has to come and battle that person that is the owner of the gym of the Pokemon of the Pokemon game. So like this, if the person that is battling the one that the owner of the gym wins the game, wins the battle, the person will also uh, he gets the, the the new gym, and like this, the the gym keeps on passing by the people that near the near that are near are the most powerful on the with the Pokemons. Since now we all since now I introduce what is the Pokemon game, now my classmate will talk about the issues of the Pokemon Go game. My friend oh, Natalia about the different effects that this app can cause and more specifically uh, economic effects. So since this game was released, there are like seven days ago, um, we know that the owners of this app uh, win like an amount of 1.6 million dollars per day. So we can say that it's a really big amount of money because it, if it's per day, we can say that every user of this app uh, waits a uh, certain quantity of money uh, buying different like powers for these Pokemon or other other objects. So another effect that this app is causing is for example there are restaurants that if you show them that you have this app they give you like a 10% of discount. So I think these restaurants have like a, a like a treat with the owners of the app and they win more money than they win. And another problem that this this app can cause is for example for playing this you need to have internet. So if you don't have uh, Wi-Fi you need to use the data plan. So to buy that data plan, you waste um, an amount of money too. So we can say that the amount of money, the total amount of money that you waste 
is really big and it's like unnecessarily for people nowadays. And to finish, we can say that another uh, big economic problem is, for example, that you to buy different items on this app, you need to buy them with credit card. So, like if it like if it's a game, the we suppose that many kids and young people play play with that. So we can say that parents don't have. The uh, responsibility in their sons to man to manage the money. So it's a it's a problem for them because young people don't know like how to spend and how much. Okay, so now my friend's gonna present about some risks and accidents that this app can provoke or cause in different people. Since the day that this application was released, there are a bunch of articles that says that many people is getting injured because of not paying attention while they are playing the game. Despite all uh, the warnings, uh, in many articles and even in the game that they, they are telling you that you have to be careful about your surroundings. The, the players doesn't pay attention when they are playing the game because they are focused just on catching the Pokemon and these have bring a lot of injuries. There are mm, a, a lot of examples. For example, uh, there is this one guy who almost died in a car accident because he was uh, trying to catch a Pokemon uh, and he was walking uh, at the street. So there is even more of these uh, of these guy who almost got killed because he was walking. In a, uh, and he almost fell off a cliff because he wasn't paying attention about the surrounding. However, also there are many problems with with people who have been robbed because uh, they are walking in in places that there there is a lot of, of crime. So they got still. Uh, now my friend uh, Crystal is going to talk about the benefits that this application is bringing to the people who is playing. Okay, um, like all of us think that this game is kind of weird or has been like bad for all the gamers. I think that it's not that way because it has like some benefits and it's like uh, gamers used to be playing uh, just by being uh, in, their, in their beds or being seated. But in this case, this game is uh, different and make, make the gamers walk to different places in their, in their area in order, in order to find these Pokemons, which is really important to the gamers because they make another activity and someone uh, or some of them make different activities like run or going or take their bikes in order to go more farther and find like more different uh, Pokemon. Um, by the other side, uh, we know that this game uh, have di distributed the Pokemon in different areas. This can be also like benef a benefit because it uh, it makes people uh, travel to another places if they are like really interested in, in, in get this Pokemon and they also like climb in order to find the, the Pokemon and there are some news that people uh, some people go to the Everest in order to to take the Pokemon and this is like really really important information because 
uh, make people like make make different activities in order to like go more more farther in the game. Because as you know, people like always want to go uh, high level. Uh, so uh, in conclu in conclusion, we can say that this game have uh, make different effects in our population. Like uh, my friend said, they have bad benefits for uh, bad ways to act, but also he uh, it has a uh, good benefits. And we can say that one of them is that make gamers that are always playing these kind of activities like PlayStation or all this, they, they can also make exercise, but uh, there are all other things that can kill people like the accidents that there have been because they are always on, the, on their phones and they don't, don't have a, an idea what, where, where they, they are. So we have to take care of our children because this game is it's more uh, played by children and uh, also we have to take care about the credit cards that they have. So I think that's the most important important information about this game. Uh, uh, we are going to talk about uh, some solutions that we can bring here at Samurano because we can like impact in other places for what we know that what it's happening now here and we have an idea what we do about that. And uh, my friend Vanessa is going to talk about that. Well, so how my friends say, I'm gonna talk about the impact that this game has bring here in Zamorano. So as we already know, this game hasn't been displayed yet in Latin America, but some of our classmates have managed to find a way to download it from different web pages. So they can also pass this game by Bluetooth, so this thing has like come some like viral here in Samaran. So every day we can find many students walking all around the campus trying to find these Pokemon. And it's kind of funny because some people that were always in the room, we can find it anywhere, like with their phones and playing this game. So, well, another effect that we have been noticed is that Mondays are days where we all get sounds. But instead of these people being studying and or reading or making sports or doing something productive with their lives, they're most like they're walking everywhere trying to find these Pokemon. And we can find them in the Seda or in the CDs or in different parts of all around the university but not in the place that they should be that is starting for the exams that are coming up in a few weeks. So this thing can may affect the grades of these students because they are not getting prepared for the most important thing that is their future so they are like waste, wasting their time. Um, another thing is that they also affect the velocity of the internet all around the campus because instead of using it for something productive, they are like playing with this game and they are like making the internet, um, making the internet of all around the residents and the dorm terms and everything, they are making it more slow because there has been like an increment of the use of internet with this game. So this is something that can be very, um, that we need to worry about. So a way that the university here at Zamorano can reduce the consumption of internet and also make students more like 
be more aware of studies instead of this game. I think that it's to control the internet in order to the the internet or the Wi-Fi don't let the app to get open like it has been done in a few different apps that were also very commonly used by students like for example is Netflix that it's only available for students to use it during the weekends that it's sometimes that it's used mostly for students to to get a time on or to chill after all the week of work. So I think that this way the university can control the, this app so the students are not like all the time paying attention with, to their phones. And they can also make different things that are not just being playing around all the day. So. I think that this is a solution for the effects that this game has bring here to the campus. Um, that's all about Pokemon Go. Thank you.